Funding provided by the Vincent and Harriet Palisano Foundation. Drop with Faith by Mary Coolawind. Surprise! You made it! Crystal opened her eyes and saw thousands of water drops, just like herself, surrounding her. Watch out! Make room! shouted other droplets as more and more filled this space near where she was standing. Soon things got crowded and uncomfortable. Crystal was so wedged in that she couldn't look up or down, just side to side. It was getting dark all around her, and she felt herself being channeled swiftly through the cold air. She shivered and shook. I'm so cold! <clears throat> Time's almost up, rumbled a voice from nearby. She could see a huge, smoky gray cloud full of other drops sailing beside her. What does that mean? The ride's almost over. Where are we? In the sky, over the village of Giving Away. Giving Away? What's Giving Away? Giving Away means to let someone have something that's really yours. No, silly. Giving Away is a village, a place where people live. You know, families, houses, animals, trees, fences, rivers, all that stuff. How do you know all of this? I've taken this ride before, and I know now that the more times you can get to giving away, the better things get. How so? You'll see, but to keep coming back, you have to give something to giving away. I don't have anything to give, just myself. That's all anyone has to give that really matters, to give of yourself or your time riding on this cloud, even though you may be afraid or unsure, is the most wonderful thing you can do. Really? Yes. Take my hand now quickly. Close your eyes and jump. I'll be with you. Trust me. I don't want to close my eyes. Why should I? Just then, she watched thousands of drops on the other cloud jump. Some were screaming and others were laughing. Jump, I can't do it. You'll be okay. We just change on our journey. Our real self doesn't get hurt. Why are they screaming? Because it's hard to accept change and give of yourself at first. Then, as we keep at it, the giving is more and more fun, and the journey gets better and better. Quick, jump now. No, I'm afraid I'll die. Part of us never dies. Now, jump. Crystal felt herself dropping faster and faster, but her new friend held tight. She squeezed her eyes shut. She was terrified. The air was frigid, and soon she felt her soft, round, wet body changing. It was becoming flat, cold, stiff, and light, and she felt herself slowing down. Are you okay? I don't know. Open your eyes. Crystal unglued her eyes, and everything was a blur at first. As her vision cleared, she saw millions of soft, white, crystal-like snowflakes floating gently downward. The air was quiet, cold, and still. She felt breathless and dizzy. Are you all right? A soft, familiar voice broke her trance. Crystal looked next to her and saw the most radiant snowflake she had ever seen, and it was then she saw it holding her hand. My hand! What's happened? It's thin, long, white, and cold. She then looked slowly up her arm and then at her feet, legs. What's going on? You're a snowflake now. I told you, if you give away, things get better and better. How do you feel? Beautiful. Wonderful. Never better. I have to let you go now. We all have different destinies. Wait, what's your name? Will I ever see you again? My name is Faith, and you'll see me again if you need me. Good luck. Safe landing. In the still of the night, the filtered glow of the moonbeam shone on the snowflakes, floating slowly to the earth. Below Crystal was the village, where some of the flakes had already landed. Some landed on sidewalks and laughed as they melted back to droplets. Others landed on top of other snowflakes on the grass and started to pile high, looking like scattered piles of sugar. Everyone was excited, laughing and celebrating, no matter where they landed and in whatever form. Before she knew it, she had landed softly on a rooftop. Hey, you're on my head. Yeah, make room. Move, Move over. over.
The feeling of being crowded was just like it was in the cloud. This is fantastic. I love giving away. I'm still me inside, but I feel different in ways. Happier. At peace. She looked up and watched as other flakes landed on her until the light of the moon was dimmed by the crowded flakes. Oh, I'm so tired. And she drifted off to sleep. Hey, what's going on? Here we go again. Voices from around her disturbed her deep slumber. She looked up to blinding bright light. <gasps> oh, it's the sun. It feels wonderful. She reached her hands to the sky to feel the warmth of the sun and watch them slowly melt. Soon she was a droplet again. She started to slide down the roof. Help, help, I'm going to fall. She was just about to slip over the edge when a soft, familiar voice said, Here, grab my hand, quick. Faith? Yes, it's me. Isn't this great? Look, I'm part of this icicle. Crystal held tight to her friend's hand, but soon she was too tired and let go. Slowly, she trickled down the long, thin shaft of the ice until she was near the very pointed end. Oh, I'm going to fall again. It's harder to fall when you're a drop. You're heavier and you fall harder. Just then she noticed twinkling, multicolored lights like the stars in the sky. Only they were wrapped around an evergreen tree inside the house. <gasps> Look! Ornaments, presents, tinsel, stockings hanging from the fireplace. It must be a party. <gasps> What's that little house under the tree? There are little animals. A cow, a donkey, some sheep, <gasps> and people figures. A lady, a man, <gasps> and a baby. A voice from high above her answered. It was Faith. That's the nativity scene. It reminds us that it's Christmas, a celebration of baby Jesus' birthday. I thought that Jesus was in heaven. He's everywhere, just like you. He was sent from heaven, just like you. He gave of himself, just like you, to help make the world a more beautiful place, just like you. Just like me? Yes. Giving is what it's all about. We all can make a difference if we try. Jesus taught us that. Crystal smiled, knowing that her journey changed the world somehow and that in some way, shape, or form, she would always be. Hey, make room. Watch out. Move over, please. In her excitement, she didn't notice the crowded drops with her getting ready to roll off the edge of the broad, flat leaf. This time, she wasn't afraid and didn't scream. As she dropped to the ground, she yelled, Happy birthday!